can get started with questions when you like. Hey, Brad, a couple of things. Uh, I guess with some of the injuries that tied in, I know you guys maybe get maybe a few more reps than the, than the normal. Kind of address that a little bit, but also a recoup, but kind of what do you think from him so far? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're all in there getting reps. Everybody's uh, really taking on a huge load in the tight end room with everyone going down and uh, everybody else is fighting in the training room to get back out there. So uh, it's it's been good. About a rate with Gilbert Talley? Uh, yeah, he's been good. He's learning the playbook well. We're, he's doing extra, he's working hard, so. Uh, hello. Um, if you go to play G-Day, not a lot of fans are familiar. Can you speak to your game skill, et cetera? Uh, I think my skill is more like a pass catching tight end, but I've really tried to develop as a run blocker this spring. I want to ask you about Oscar Delp. Just what have you seen from him so far and what he's kind of shown? Uh, that's like another guy like Reek. He's come in. He's working his balls off. He's hustling, making plays, doing good, learning the playbook, focusing. You kind of talked about it a second ago, but do you see this spring as an opportunity for you? I mean, the fact that with the depth, you're, you're getting more reps out there? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think I'm definitely taking advantage of my reps and trying my best out there every day to make an impact and just waiting for everyone else to get back on the field with us. With Dom coming off his ACL tears, uh, Cal looks back and makes him healthy both offense and special teams. How have you seen him persevere and progress these last couple seasons to now? Uh, Dom has worked worked so hard to get back. I think um, I think everybody's seen that. Sad what happened to him two times in a row, back to back seasons, but he's a tremendous athlete and I think he'll bounce back from it. Can you give us an idea about the, this, the scrimmage coming up? Kirby talked a little bit about that a minute ago, but just as far as the, the mindset of the team, I mean, is there sort of a build up towards it? Is there an excitement or an anticipation or is it another day at the office? I mean, what, how would you explain that, to, that dynamic to us? I mean, you, you got to take it everything. It's like the same, like it's another day at the office, like you said, but. Everyone's excited to get to the stadium. Every opportunity we have in the stadium, whether it's a 6 a.m. run or scrimmage or a practice in the stadium, it's something special to be in between the hedges and be at Sanford. So I think everybody's a little hyped up about that. Can I follow up and just let me just follow up and ask, like, now compared to a year ago, where where are you at in terms of your being prepared for the opportunity? Uh, I mean, last year I would have thought I was as prepared as I could have been, but now looking back on it, I know I'm way more prepared and I'm. Excited where I'm at and excited to see how the rest of the spring plays out. Brad, you're obviously part of a very talented tight end room. I'm curious, so from having a front row seat of watching Brock last year, anything stand out or surprise you about you know, where he came in today? Uh, I mean, Brock's an incredible athlete. I think what stands out to me is how humble he is and coming in as a freshman, and I, I don't think I've ever seen him, his head blow up. He's always stayed level and super humble, so that was awesome to have somebody younger come in and be like that. You've been around a minute uh, now for as a tight end. I just wonder, how have you seen the position sort of uh, uh, materialize and develop since Coach Munkin has got here? And you know, certainly we saw what Brock did last year, some of the concepts that he's brought to that position, which seem to speak well to your skill set as well. Yeah, uh, I think it's awesome. Our, our playbook is so much fun to play with, especially the passing game and it's really tight end friendly. I think Hartley's had a good good role in playing with that too. I think he's an awesome coach. I think Munkin's an awesome coach too. And they like to get the ball to the tight end, so we can't complain. What about Hartley kind of separates him from the rest of the coaches? Uh, I don't know what separates him, but I'd say Hartley's just like, man, I love him as a coach. He's awesome, he cares about his guys. He takes the time to develop a relationship with not only the scholarship guys, but the walk-ons, our room is, a lot of fun to be in, especially all our pregame meal, meals and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun with him. Brad, I want to ask you about last season when you scored against Charleston Southern. What do you remember about that play and what did it mean to you to, to be able to contribute like that? Oh yeah, that was awesome. Um, it was, it was that drive was really fun. I think I had two catches on that drive, and Dom had another catch on that, which was my freshman year roommate. So it was awesome seeing him get back out there and start playing, and then capping that drive off with a touchdown was awesome. What's Carson back like as a teammate? Carson's awesome. He uh, 
he's another guy that's very humble, level-headed, and just comes to work every day. Just wants to get better. He's always in there watching extra film. Whenever I'm in there, I see him in there all the time. Um, he's a great teammate. You talked about earlier that you, you know, looking back to last year, that you might have felt like you were ready, that you've improved a lot since then. What specifically do you, does it does feels different? I mean, what do you feel like you've improved since that time last year? Uh, I think I've eliminated a lot of the, like mental errors, as far as plays and knowing my assignment and just not having to worry about like what I'm doing. I already know what I'm doing. I just go out there and play. Um, and I think I've come a long way as a run blocker. Uh, did you happen to see C.J. Washington's injury and uh, whether you did or didn't, how has his response uh, impacted the team? Kirby said he's still around practice and taking it pretty well. It sounded like it was a pretty tough injury. Um, I didn't see it happen live. I was on the other side of the field, but I've seen him around the facility and he's high spirits and I think he's looking forward to coming back and rejoining us soon and getting back out there. I know in these scrimmages and your assignments can kind of vary, but I guess one of the guys we've talked about this offseason a lot is Jalen Carter. Have you ever been matched up with him, and what's it like trying to handle a guy like that? Uh, sadly, I have. Um, <laughs> I don't think that I've won one of those matchups, but uh, yeah, that's another freak athlete that is not fun to go against, but he's a hell of a player. What about kind of going up against like Zion? Have you gone up against Zion, Logue, or Tremont Walker? Yeah, uh, we see them sometimes as like a six tech. Um, they're also great players. Um, they're big, just like Jalen. Any more questions? Okay, thanks, y'all. Thanks, bro. Thanks.